Hey, hi there, Libra. Welcome to my channel. I'd like to thank you for tuning in to those energies and influences that are coming through for your weekend reading, September 6th to the 8th of 2019. It's a really good reading, Libra. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. This is a condensed general reading, so please only take those portions that resonate with you. Okay, Libra, off camera to save time, I've done a protective blessing. I've meditated over and shuffled these cards just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. The Page of Wands, Libra. This is fire energy. It's a new beginning and creativity. This can be an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus. This is someone that's standing at the threshold of a newly inspired direction. And we always feel the page's influence when we're being drawn to something that can accelerate our personal growth and enable us to be and express more of who we are. This is the fool's little brother. It's being intrigued and hopeful and inspired and trustworthy, a beginner, embarking on self-development and sensing your potential for creative or spiritual expansion and in pursuing adventure. This is always a trigger point, a new beginning. Could be a very uh, important message, a communication to your current project or situation. This is positive information. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. Can be your challenge. The Nine of Swords, Libra. Air energy. Well, Libras, you are the overthinkers. And you're worrying here. Yet, it's unfounded anxiety. You might feel a little low energy. There's a need to be patient. This is preoccupation with a past experience. And you'll need to make required changes for a better future. You're almost there, though. You'll need to talk about your problems you bury and speak up to solve these problems, or it brings regrets and nightmares. Yet this suffering is in your mind. It's a mental torture. Steps should be taken to solve some problems, and yet you are near the end of your mental ordeal. This is wisdom and strength gained through experience. It's feeling unworthy or overly fearful or worried about the future. You could be overly sensitive to other people's opinions. But worrying is pointless unless it drives you to take action. So confront your worries and fears and take steps to solve your problems. Talk to someone. Write in a journal. See a doctor. If you continue to doubt and fear, they will continue to haunt you. This is a high stress card. This is someone that might like to work at night. But often the fear of difficulties is worse than the reality. The fear is far worse than the outcome, so put two and two together and look at contradictions around you and strengthen your resolve and your patience and try not to feel so down by the temporary blockages or difficulties. These are old goals that darken over and new ones lighten up. It's fresh mental pastures. Do not rush things and maintain your faith and your trust. And now your third card. This is how it affects you. This can be your attitude. Number nine of pentacles, Libra. This is earth energy, always having to do with tangible things. This is it's your second nine also in your layout, which represents receipt. You'll be receiving something, or you could be at the right place at the right time. And this card with two nines it warns you that if you fail to grasp the opportunity, it will pass you by. And there's some new opportunities coming. You have to, it's two aces as well. It's very important. This is abundance, and you're going to be able to further your career and your projects and enjoy a secure base. It's harnessing self-discipline. It's solitary enjoyment of the good life. You may have to do some things, work on these new beginnings yourself could also be a time of self-reliance, taking charge of your own future. could also be craving more independence. 
Sometimes you might give off the impression you do not eat and need any else, one anyone else. You're just someone who's able to enjoy the good things in life even though you're alone. It does not imply that you're devoid of relationships. It says you're at peace within, and therefore you do not need constant companionship to feel contented. These are material benefits that are promised and appreciated. Material abundance is about to come, and there's going to be great satisfaction due to reaping the fruits of your labor. Could be a promotion or more money coming in. This is understanding that life is exactly the way we made it. It's fruition and living an ordered life. And now here's your fourth card. It's the card of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. The Ace of Wands, Libra. New beginning and creativity. This is a really great card. Fire energy. Rods and clubs, scepters, stabs always represent action, animation, constant renewal and growth, creation, ideas. The Ace of Wands stands for pure creativity and inspiration, conception, birth. It's ignition, the beginning of new enterprise, business and arts and finance. It's high passion and relationships, so be open for the new. Be courageous. There's excitement and enthusiasm here in the energy for something new. This is new life, both literally and metaphorically. Make sure you grasp this opportunity. This is a potential for great success. You may have started something new, or you're working on an old project that will finally bear fruit. This is a call to do something actively, or to let something happen. And you will find the answer in the doing. So show who you are and what matters to you. And now your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. The Ace of Pentacles, Libra. Earth energy. Really good. Two aces in your reading is uh, rare and outstanding. This is new money. It's new success. Two aces can also represent a divine union or sometimes trickery. It's also a great creative breakthrough. It's being on the brink of a masterpiece. It could be a big payday coming from a bold move. It's these new cycles, they trigger simultaneous growth and creation and tangible growth. This is an opportunity, a beginning of a new project, a birth, a chance to improve your health, or a gift you can use to invest in future gain, a new job opportunity, or a chance for promotion. It's a good time to start improving your home and begin building the foundation for the future. This can be a purchase for your business. Um, it would be worth it. You're feeling motivated and you're ready for a challenge. And now here's your advice from the Oracle deck. Trust Your Vibes by Sonia Choquette. Libra, you've got to accept the gifts of the universe. Card number 51. How synchronistic is this? Accept the gifts of the universe. Are you limiting yourself and what the universe is trying to bring to you? Well, you are if you're worrying with the Nine of Swords. You guys, because what you think you bring to you, and if you're worrying, you're just going to bring more of that. So stop it. The universe is going to bring you all that you desire, but first you must be able to accept what it brings. Many of us limit what we cannot, what we receive because we feel unworthy, or we think that to receive so much would be selfish. Neither is true in the eyes of the universe, which will bring you as much as you allow. It is infinitely abundant, so receiving what you want is in no way limit others. One way to dispel these beliefs is to contemplate what you think might happen if you did realize your dreams. Do you uncover any anxieties or fears? Do you worry that you're asking too much? Do you imagine your wish, if fulfilled, might cause another injury or pain? Does bringing change into your life make you nervous? If you uncover any beliefs that are contrary or in conflict with your dreams, are you willing to trade them for more supportive ones? The question the universe asks is, how good can you stand it? Because that's as good as it gets. Ooh, super goosebumps, Libra. 
Thanks for watching. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.